Welcome on a sewing journey to the 19 teens. I'm Maria from Sew Through Time, and this time we're making a brassiere. Last time we made a corset. If you haven't checked that video out yet, go and check it out. It's somewhere here. Brassieres became a necessary undergarment for most women when the corsets lowered from the mid-bust Victorian to a mostly under-bust silhouette of the 19 teens. The main function of this garment was to provide bust support and some shaping, but not as much shaping as the highly boned, very structured bust bodice that was supposed to build the fashionable bust line. For my version of this garment, I chose a 1906 patent for a back and bust su uh, supporter. According to the patent, this garment is meant to support and shape your bust and smooth out your back corset lines. And that brings us to how this garment is worn. Even though it's meant for sh supporting and shaping your bust much like a modern day bra, it is not, it does not function the same way. It is meant to work in combination with your chemise and corset on top of them. That's why these garments, all the way up until the 1940s, look rather flimsy to our modern eyes, because they're not supposed to function on their own. They work with the combination of these other garments. Your corset pushes your bust up and holds it up from below, and the Brazier holds it in place and shapes it lightly to a nice round shape and your chemise protects your skin and pr protects the, your, these outer garments from your skin oils. What makes this patent special and interesting to me was that this relies on the different materials that it uses. It uses elasticated and non-elasticated fabrics to provide not only the support but also the shaping. The actual garment is basically just rectangles. And though this patent is from 1906, similar garments can be seen throughout the 19 teens. So I figured this would be a good combination gar garment that would work not only for later Edwardian but also for the 19 teens. I took my modern well-fitting bra and traced out the back pattern based off of that. For the front piece, I just measured my full bust height from the apex point, all, the entire tissue going over the nipple. And then for the length, I just took my bust measurement, added a few inches to that. Okay, so this is where the pattern gets interesting. This back piece is cut out of stretchy, elasticated fabric, while the front is cut out of non-stretchy, normal, woven fabric. I cut out two back pieces on the fold. I'm using a cotton rib that I had in my stash. The upper edge of the back piece is bound in a woven tape like in the patent. The woven front pieces, both top and bottom edges, are bound in elastic. For the shoulder straps, I sewed bias binding and eyelet lace together. After attaching the shoulder straps, I put the bra on and I just 
pulled and gathered the fabric at the center front to make that nice rounded cup shape and then sewed it down. The one thing that I changed from the original patent was that I added this boning to the mid-up point of the bust. And here you have it, the finished piece. It really does give you a very rounded, very smooth shape, and it really lifts up my bust to where it's supposed to be. But yeah, I'm really happy with it, and as you can see, Like, nothing moves. This combination of a corset and a brassiere is actually much more supportive than I've ever been in any kind of sports bra in my entire life. As a larger busted lady, I tend to have problems with not actually being comfortable running or especially jumping. But... In this, there's absolutely not, you can't even say that there would be the slightest bit of discomfort because nothing moves. But yeah, I did need this extra boning here because otherwise I could not get this rounded shape. This boning here helps keep it so that the center of my bust stays where it's supposed to be and not starting to squish to the sides. But yes, I would definitely recommend this pattern for anybody with a larger bust or with a smaller bust because I'm pretty sure this would pretty much suit anybody and it was very easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. There will be more 19 Teens content coming up and, and then after that, we'll be going to other eras. See you again next time. Bye.